Hey guys, welcome to Snowbreak Containment Zone and we have here a build guide for Ethereal Cloud Chen Sheng. So take note guys that this is not the end all be all of uh, the guide for her. This is just a suggestive guide based on her kit, based on how she plays and based on her build type. So, so to start off with her build type, we have her at uh, painting targets for bigger damage. So that mechanic is tied to her standard skill. She also has a little support, which means she will be your main DPS. And also guys, don't forget her support has paralyzed as well. And going back to her standard skill, um, chain damage effect is going to be uh, part of her uh, standard skill. So again, she is gun DPS focused as her build type but we will start off with her skills so first and foremost this is your spiritual uh silk spiritual slip this is her standard skill which focuses on damage damage for the skill is going to be um in small increments guys and this has a chain ability up to eight targets once you unlock this neural skill okay so it starts off with five then as a branch of eight then the other neural skill unlocks additional damage the key to making this a good skill is that um you need to shoot your enemies to be able to deal more damage again this this has a chain function to it next up is her scarlet thunder counter blade this is what i mean when <clears throat> um you you, you get little support from her her kit doesn't really play into her support skill it's it plays more to her standard skill and ultimate skill however this is also nice to have it deals electrical damage and uh, once you unlock the neural skill here it has paralyzed for two seconds this has small incremental damages as well but again you won't be using this much as she will be your main dps or gun dps Next up is her ultimate skill, which is damage focused as well. It's called Dominance. And this one, it has a nice utility as it bombards a large area, knocking targets in the air, dealing electrical damage. After using the Celestial Key, Fierce Thunder continuously strikes the area. It's like a bombardment of a certain area. But again, as you open up your neural skills here, when Celestial Key hits, resets the attached duration of all spiritual slips in the area. Plus, there's a 20% uh, ballistic damage taken by the enemies in that zone. So take note of that. This is a nice skill to use, especially for bosses with multiple parts or even a singular part. So again, there you go for her skills. Next up is going to be her weapon. So obviously, um, you will need her, um, ex not exclusive weapon, her preferred weapon, which is anti-evil ward. So anti-evil ward, the, the reason why you have this because it increases electrical damage by 18 and crit damage amplifier by 12. Don't worry if you don't have enough crit. Um, if you shoot at the parts, it's going to be crit damage so when dealing electrical damage gains one stack of crimson cloud max 50 stacks so this one is going to be stacking up your attack so increased by 20 per 21 percent cloud effect can still be obtained when in crimson sky shield state so this gun is going to be massive in terms of damage so we will need this eventually but if you don't have this gun you can actually go for this gun indicator this gun is going to be your uh what do you call this your alternative if you don't have any gun because the skill again complements her build upon entry increase ballistic damage by five percent every seconds max seven stacks so that's roughly 35 percent ballistic damage not bad if you don't have her preferred weapon so again guys the other um, option is you can go with duckling as well but the problem with the skill here this is your third option uh this um her skill here is going to be 
for her support skill, which I think you won't be using that much. But again, this is an option. And all of these guns that we were talking about are of, uh, oh no, this one is electrical damage. And, but this one, the indicator is chaos damage. So again, it's a, it's, it's actually, uh, it actually boils down to preference on which one would you use. Would you prioritize ballistic damage? However, this is chaos damage gun, or would you go for an electric damage gun? But you won't be needing um, the the skill for this one that much. So again, it's up to you on what you bring. Also, depending on the availability of the guns that you have okay so moving on to logistics guys this one this logistics is mingi squad this will be your start up logistic there is a better one for this one we'll talk about it later you can actually get this one this uh, mingi squad in the current event you can get um uh, 50 I think 50 points for each so that's 150 then you can equip it here okay so for your logistics uh, let's go over Mingi squad here so I hope this girl is going to be playable in the future I like the way she's designed but going back two officers um, increase ballistic damage by 24 for three officers dealing electrical damage so this uh, particular logistic is um, catering to electrical damage increase attack of the equipping operative by 1% for 3 seconds but it's going to uh, repetitive triggers will reset duration so don't worry about it so it's going to be a max of 45 stacks so a max of additional electrical damage of 45 uh, 45% so that is the initial what they call this initial logistic that you can use then we proceed to the next one Okay, so for our um, priority logistics, this is going to be um, Mizuho Squad. So Mizuho Squad here, um, increased ballistic damage with 24. When shooting continuously, which is actually uh, going to fit more of a uh, SMG or an AR, each shot ballistic damage by 3% max of 20 stacks. So this has a max of uh, ballistic damage of 60%, while the other one is electric damage by 45%. So this one is preferred if you want to add more damage to her gun, you should eventually get this one. Also guys, don't forget that this is only available in the store and with this currency. So token for underground purge. So if you want to... Uh, farm this currency you have to farm on this stage to be able to get all three of them okay so going back to logistics now that we have identified the beginning the, the beginner logistic and your advanced logistic the next up uh, discussion is going to be about talent which talent are you going to be prioritizing so in your talent stat here uh, please prioritize attack percentage because attack percentage adds to the skill damage and also to your ballistic damage. Next up is going to be alignment index here. Alignment index is going to be key in increasing damage for, for um, ethereal cloud. The other two options um, is going to be elemental damage, which will appear in the third slot here as you level this up to 15. Um, but the other option as well for the top two lines here is going to be crit rate and crit damage crit rate or crit damage so again those are the things that you need to um to further uh enhance her damage so attack percentage alignment index elemental damage and crit rate or crit damage as you see here i don't have the what you call this the preferred um talent but eventually you'll have to replace these for better stats to increase your damage so next up is going to be manifestation so how you know how greedy is she in terms of manifestation well if you ask me you should level her up up to manifestation four she's going to be she's going to require a bit of um uh, investment 
especially if you want to maximize her damage especially for the silk spiritual slip so this is your fourth one shot detonation uh, damage increases to 44 percent of the shot's damage as you go below for the third one chen Xing's, uh shot hits a target with a spiritual slip attached crit damage of the flyer uh, increased by 30 so again this um goes back to her standard skill duration of spiritual slips in scarlet thunder increased by 50 percent but the fourth manifest uh, the, the, fir the the first manifestation is when ethereal cloud sh uh, shoots a weak spot ballistic damage increased by one for three seconds max 15 stacks so this is an additional 15 percent damage to hit a weak spot so even the first one is good but preferably you need to reach four to be able to maximize her potential her fifth one however is also with spiritual slips are detonated by changing shot there is a three 30 percent chance to deal extra damage of 50 percent detonation damage again this is going to be uh, uh it's going to be a while before you're going to hit uh this one but uh going with one manifestation is going to really improve your damage output already so preference is going to be up to four but one will definitely increase your damage output next up is going to be neuronics so for neuronics if you're going to be using her as a main dps or main shooter definitely go for the clusters for silk spiritual slips you will need this because this one is dealing 70 damage um when slips disappear there's an additional damage to your targets and this one is increasing the uh mark targets up to eight so you need that as well and for your ultimate which is dominant so when celestial key hits resets the attached duration of all spiritual slips in the area the other one is in the dominant zone increases ballistic damage taken by enemies by 20 percent, which is actually one of the strong suits of her ultimate as far as the support is concerned this will be the last unless you really fancy her as a support but again you will miss out on a lot if you don't level this up for silk spiritual slips and this one for dominance and as her ultimate okay so if you're asking me guys who is going to be her best support unit number one would be kaguya akasha because of her support skill to lower um all type resistance so this is actually the one of her best supports that if you want to bring uh, ethereal cloud then definitely kaguya will be one of her support um other supports that uh, i think will benefit her uh, is also going to be her recent companion with the series because of the shield you can actually um hold the standard button um much you know much uh longer and probably a more um the shield that she has for her support skill is going to be uh, a game changer and also going to benefit uh chen Xing ethereal cloud um when she when she uses her standard skill okay next up that i think you will be using as her support or might be a secondary dps it's going to be yao winter solstice so yao not too bad for support this one is uh, knocking knocking enemies around the air and deals thermal damage this one as you know as enemies come closer this is a nice skill to repel enemies but if you're if you want to shoot further this uh, she will be your additional dps for the team and lastly for healing you you can bring chen Xing. she can also help you out with her um with her friends as for additional damage for her standard skill then you go out switch out to um her counterpart which is ethereal cloud the other one in case you need more um pure uh healing it's going to be yao quiet quitter so those are your best supports for ethereal cloud going back to her 
Um, it's gonna give you guys my overall thoughts. Um, she can be an ov an all around DPS with her main specialty on bosses with multiple parts. Again, she is for me. She's a jack of all trades. She's very very well balanced. Um, I'm just afraid that she doesn't excel much in damage unless you invest um, on her, especially in manifestation. Also, while her standard skill is perfect for mobs, it, al it also will leave you vulnerable to attacks when you hold the skill. Um, this is what I am referring to. So that one, um, I hope that will be buffed or will be changed into... In terms of aiming, you can move. For now, when you aim for that standard skill, you cannot move. So it's going to leave you vulnerable. And lastly, she might need a buff um, in skill damage in the future. As she is too dependent on her gun for DPS. So that is it, guys. It has been an in-depth guide on Shen Xing. Again, if you feel that this video is very informative to you, please put a like please also subscribe to the channel. Um, also, guys, I would appreciate uh, your comments and suggestions. Again, this is not your end-all, be-all guide. Again, this is based on how she plays and how to build around her playstyle. So thank you very much, guys, for staying this far. Take care, stay safe. This is The Warden, and I'm out of here.